Hello, my name is Andrei Chipurenko and I am one of the core developers of VetiRobot, the project where we are developing a completely open source 3D printed robotics vehicle. This is how this vehicle looks like. It's equipped with different types of sensors like ultrasound range finders, GPS receiver, compass. It also has a pretty powerful onboard computer which makes it possible to drive the vehicle in a completely autonomous mode. In addition, it's also possible to drive the vehicle manually. You, uh, the video from the onboard cameras are transmitted in real time over the internet and driver can see what the cameras see and drive around. Usually for demonstration purposes, we are using joystick because joystick offers way more con much more convenient way to control the vehicle, much more natural way to control this vehicle compared, for example, to the keyboard. However, it's not always practical to have the joystick for demonstration purposes. That's why we decided to try Intel perceptual computing technology to offer the same control quality, the same level of convenience, without requiring to have joystick or any additional devices except of camera. So here the application we developed for main to manually control the vehicle. There are several panels on the screen. The first panel illustrates the live video stream from onboard cameras. The second stream on the right is intended for the kind of debugging purposes. For example, currently there is an edge detection algorithm running which we are using for later on for autonomous navigation. In addition, there are several controls presented here on the bottom side of the application which is intended to show the to represent the information coming from onboard sensors. For example, there is a control to show the rotation speed of the motors. Here is the control to illustrate the, the to show the data from the ultrasound range finders. Here is the compass. In addition, in the center of the screen, there is a special control which is intended to show the to provide the driver with the feedback about his steering actions. There is a sphere in the middle which illustrates current steering position. And if I, for example, press left or the right key on the keyboard, the sphere will move. And if I move it far enough, the motors are start rotating. This application we are calling cockpit and it is used to manually control the vehicle. As I already mentioned, uh, the second panel on the screen is used for, debug for debugging purposes. And uh, there, are, it, there might be several, uh, several kinds of information, different kinds of information, which the users might want to see on this panel, depending on the current, uh, current usage scenario or what the driver might want to see. And this is the area where, uh, the first area where Intel perceptual computing technology comes into the play. We decide to use the voice processing capabilities offered by the SDK to switch between different views using the voice commands. In particular, we define two commands to switch between, uh, between edge detection algorithm and uh, view provided by the depth sensor of the, uh, of, the, of the corresponding camera. So we define two commands, two commands to switch between these different views. So, if, uh, so I can say show depth and as you can see uh, the view is changed uh, to the depth view camera. Uh, so here, here is again show depth show edge and as you can see show edge commands return back the uh, the edge detection view now i will illustrate how we are using the sound detection capabilities to control the vehicle in particular we are treating the horizontal position of the sump as a steering signal and the distance to the camera as an acceleration so before illustrating it, I will switch to the depth view because it, it is helpful to position the, uh, the arm properly in front of the camera. 
So I will use the voice command to do it. Show depth. Now we have the depth view and now I, I can use my thumb to control the steering and acceleration. Show depth. So here when I'm moving left and right, you can see the sphere in the middle is also moving. And I so this is how I essentially control the steering. And if I move forward or backwards, the speed the speed of the rotation speed of the motors are changing. So in the, this is the neutral position. And now I'm driving backwards. Now I'm coming closer to the camera and this is the neutral position. Uh, and I will, will come even more closer than there I will drive forwards. To summarize what we've done, I can say that we extend our existing cockpit application with the two new features supported by the Intel Perceptual Computing SDK. The first one is the possibility to switch between different views using the voice command, and the second one is the possibility to use some gesture recognition to control the steering and acceleration. By implementing this new functionality, we are offering uh, the very natural way to control the, uh, our robotics vehicle without requiring the users to have some uh, additional devices like, uh, for example, joystick. And finally, here is the test drive using the corresponding implementation.